Hey guys, it's Kaylee. I am back with another what sold from last week video. Sales have been pretty good here. I'm getting really nervous about the summer slowdown. Like I know what's going to happen, but I'm so used to having like really great sales weeks. Kind of feel like I'm going to freak out as it starts to drop. Um, last week, the one I'm sharing with you is actually a really great sales week for us. But the week that I'm currently living in, which you guys will see next week, not so great. So sales have definitely started to slow down. Everything's kind of up and down. Um, I usually combat summer slowdown by listing a few more items. Um, so we're probably going to switch from setting 40 active listings a day to setting 45. And I think that small amount in bump should be enough to offset what I think is going to be a dip in sales over the next several months. And again, you kind of expect that people are going to be outside. They're not necessarily shopping online. So a few things that you can do is adjust what you are buying, buy things you know people are looking for in the summer, like shorts or hiking gear or hiking shoes, you know, stuff like that. Um, and also list more. Those are my strategies, guys. Let's dive into those sales. All right, so here is the new sales report. You guys have spoken and we are keeping it as is because most of you, majority of people like this breakdown where you can just see the gross item sales. So this is how we're gonna do this report from now on. There are a lot more numbers. So I'm sorry if it seems a little bit cluttered, but lots of um, good information here. If you wanted to pull the same numbers for yourself, I do think that it is good to look at broken out like this. So these sales happen between May 14th through the 20th, which is a Sunday through a Saturday. Um, in total, I sold 247 items, gross sales, sorry, gross item sales, which does not include um, what the buyers paid to me for shipping was $6,232.34, making the average sale price per item $25.23. Estimated cost of goods based on an average buy cost was $1,235. And then my estimated gross, gross profit, which does include um, everything to do with the sale, including shipping costs, uh, fees, and any shipping discounts provided. Um, and cost of goods, but does not include any of my office expenses afterwards, um, ends up being $3,864.21. On eBay, I sold 128 items. On Poshmark, I sold 119. My average sale price on eBay was $29.54. And then on Poshmark, it was $20.60. So definitely a split there. Poshmark still tends to be uh, where I sell off a lot of my clearance items, um, but I did still have some great like full price quick sales that happened from like two weeks of getting listed. So I'll be sharing a lot of those with you today. Um, today I tried to be really curated and I tried not to show um, a lot of duplicates that I show a lot in my videos and try to give you guys some new brands. And I do have a lot a lot of like new to me brands that I just sold um, that have a really good sell through rate. So I'm excited to share some of these with you today. There are also some items that I paid up for and also some just in general, regardless of brand categories that you should be on the lookout for during this time of year. Uh, at least in my opinion. So we're going to start with eBay as a pair of Dansko boots. Dansko is a comfort shoe brand and the more substantial the piece, definitely the better. Um, these dance goes were a pair of knee high boots and they were the Ashby style boots. Sometimes with dance go, you can do a quick Google lens and find the exact style name, which I can find, I find to be very helpful for doing comps. Um, these did have like a distressed leather look because I did not know that they were, if they were made this way, and I, I'm not sure that they were, we included some scratch scratches in the leather in the condition description, um, just to cover our butts. I don't know why this thumbnail is showing, not showing the picture, but it's working. Um, but definitely the more substantial the piece, the better. So Dansko knee high boots can go for a lot. Also had a very, uh, a much larger size than normal. These ended up being a, Size 42, which is a U.S. size 11 and a half, which in my opinion, dance goes in larger sizes, um, perform really well, just because typically people with larger feet, speaking from experience, um, tend to look for comfort shoes. 
and they can be a lot harder to find in your size. So in my opinion, at least in comfort shoe brands, larger sizes can be a good thing, which was the case with this. So I paid up for these. I paid $24.99, so $25 for these boots, and we listed them for $84.93. They did sell for my full asking price, so $25 into $85, not bad. I would do that again. Next up is um, a category I have mentioned a lot, and I'm just going to show you guys one example today, but this is a Lauren Ralph Lauren men's blazer. I say it all the time because as a newer reseller, I was scared of flipping blazers in both men's and women's, especially men's, um, but what I look for, there's only like a few brands that I even look for in the blazers. This would be one of them, Lauren Ralph Lauren or any kind of Ralph Lauren blazer with exception to the chaps line. And then I also make sure that it hasn't been altered and that there is a size tag on the inside. It is not my favorite thing to try and measure a blazer and guess sizing, and those usually tend to sit, so I do check to make sure there's actually a size. Um, linen blend blazers are performing really well for me right now. They're going for a lot more than the wool blazers. However, um, still would pick up a wool blazer um, if it were this brand. So I paid $5.99 for these. Uh, $5.99 are typical for blazers at my Goodwills. So pretty low buy-in cost compared to the average sale price of these blazers. Uh, you know, blazers are a more substantial piece. It's more of like a formal business type wear. Um, and so people expect to pay more for it. So for $5.99, I feel like that's a pretty good buy-in cost. So I paid $5.99 for this. We listed for about $65. It ended up selling on an offer to watcher for $55.50. 15 cents. Next up is another Ralph Lauren item. These are Polo Ralph Lauren men's jeans. And I wanted to show you guys these because not all of them perform extremely well, but in general, I would say that Polo Ralph Lauren men's jeans do perform well. And I can usually get about 35 to 40 for them. These ones were, um, a better style that I had never heard of before and it was right on the inside pocket as you see here in this picture the Sullivan Slim um, so this seemed to be a more desirable style a pair of black jeans I only paid $4.99 for these and we listed for about $50 they ended up selling on an offer to watcher for $42.44 Next up is a pair of shoes. This is the brand Madewell, which is very hit or miss for me, um, but I do find that some of the Madewell shoes can perform well. I do suggest probably looking up the exact style name, um, which can be done very easily with a Google Lens. If you guys don't have the Google Lens app downloaded on your phone to use while you're outsourcing, you really need to, uh, especially for shoes. It makes things so much easier. So these are called the Madewell Laney ankle strap sandals. They have little pom-poms, so I included that in the title. Um, they were in good condition. There was general wear throughout. Um, so I listed a little bit lower. I paid $4.89 for these. They sold for my full asking price of $29.93. Next up is a brand that is newer to me and I've now been finding since I learned about it. It is Norma Kamali. This brand does not have 100% sell through rate on eBay, but it is pretty close depending on what you have. And from what I can tell, they just make mostly like black minimalist dresses, very minimalist looking. Um, and I don't know much about this brand. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments down below. I feel like there's a story behind it, but I'm not aware of it. So um, this I got in a wholesale order. I paid just over $5 for it. We listed for around 40. It sold for my full asking price. And since learning this brand, it's like once you finally learn it and you know what the tag looks like, it's like you just start finding it all of a sudden. I know, I know you guys have told me that in the comments down below. You're like, it's so weird. Every time you show, you know, a what sold video, I usually find the brand the same or the next day. And I'm like, yeah, it's just because it's in, you know, the forefront of our minds. But the same thing happens to me. So now that I know this brand, um, just the other day I was outsourcing and I found two of these. So, you know, keep your eye out for it. And that's why what sold videos can be really good um, because you get that visual and it will be in your mind when you go sourcing that week. Okay, this is a 
definitely a new brand to me and I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I don't know if it's Massad, Makad, um, either way, M-A-C-A-D-E. And they sell golf wear type pants. Here's a close up of the tag. Uh, these were a pair of tapered jogger uh, men's like chino pants, which just in general is a great category to look for golf pants. Um, but this has a really good sell through rate, this particular brand. So I would definitely keep your eye out for it. This one even had multiple small stains on it, which we noted. We paid $4.99. It sold for our full asking price of $39.88 and it sold extremely quickly. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for this brand. I've never found it before. I would like to say that it's probably not in my area, but I thought the same thing about Norma Kamali. And now that I've seen it, I found two of them. So we'll see how it goes. Next up is not a new to me brand, but a category I would just like to share with you guys, which is uh, wide leg pants in athletic wear brands. I mentioned this a lot, but wanted to reiterate it, not just in athletic wear brands, but in the casual brands as well. Wide leg pants seem to be very on trend right now for spring and summer. Um, not to say you should pick up all of them, but whenever you do see one, I would say it is worth a comp with the brand. Just make sure to include wide leg um, in your comp because that's going to make a big difference. So these are the Studio Wide Leg Pants. They are a size medium. This style tends to perform well for me. In this particular brand, I paid $4.99, we listed for $34.88, and it did sell at our full asking price. Next up is a pair of men's jeans, and this is a brand I would definitely keep your eye out for. It is Diesel. Diesel is a fantastic brand to pick up in jeans wear. They also make women's, which sometimes can do well, um, but as far as men's go, I don't think I've ever come across a pair of men's Diesel jeans that I didn't want to pick up. Um, they just, they perform so well and some of them are a lot more rare. I think I've gotten as much as like maybe $85 for a pair of pre-owned diesel jeans. So there are some more rare styles that you'll want to keep your eye out for. I paid just over $5 for this. These are called the Thavar jeans and we listed them for $39.88. They sold very quickly for our full asking price. Um, another indication of diesel jeans is this little band right here on the pocket. It's usually there, so they're pretty easy to identify, um, but keep your eye out for those and make sure when you do a comp, you include the style name that is there on the inside tag because it can make a big difference in your comps. Right, these are a pair of Lululemon shorts. I think we all know about Lululemon at this point, but I wanted to share this because typically in spring and summer, shorts are what's popular, but I don't always look through that category because I feel like I'm wasting a lot of time in the shorts section because usually I walk it, find absolutely nothing and move on and feel like I've wasted five to 10 minutes. Um, but something you do want to look for are, you know, some of the more popular athletic wear shorts. Um, they just shorts in general, just tend to not sell for a high average sale price, um, but this is something that you could look for. So these are the Lululemon Women's On The Fly shorts, and we listed these for 40-ish dollars, which is a lot for shorts. We paid $4.99. These sold for $39.94, which were our full asking price. So again, I think we all know about Lululemon, but if you're someone like me just trying to get in my mindset, sometimes I skip shorts, but even if I do a quick walkthrough, I'm going to look for these. Next up is a pair of Eileen Fisher women's pants. Talk about this brand a lot, but just wanted to reiterate the wide leg. Um, so again, a really popular style. I showed you the Athleta ones before in an athletic brand. These are more casual and they're performing uh, fantastic as well. I paid just over $5 for these. We listed them for $35, um, but we ended up selling them on an offer to watcher for $29.69. This one was even missing its material tag and still sold very quickly. Next up is a vest. Now, I wanted to show you guys this for a couple of reasons. First of all, um, during spring and summer, people don't usually look at the jacket section, which 
you know, makes sense. But as a reseller, you might still want to just do a quick walkthrough in it because because resellers are not going in there. Usually stuff gets skipped over and there are still high quality jackets that you can get. Just the ones that people are looking for right now are going to be more lightweight and windbreaker-ish material like raincoats. So just a little bit of a mindset shift. This one is a 511 Tactical Women's uh, Windbreaker Vest. This one was new with tags, which is the second reason I wanted to share this. Um, I know some people just see new with tags and they pick up everything. I do not do that. But I will say that if I find something new with tags, it does heavily play into whether I'm going to get the item or not. But we treat it the same way that we treat everything else, which is we do a comp, we'll sort the condition to new with tags, and then we'll check the sell-through rate. And we do it the exact same way. Um, we try not to let the new attacks play into our emotions too much. I feel like resellers get really trapped on that. Um, but just do your comps the same way. It works the exact same way. But this would be an example of something that people are still buying in spring and summer. Um, this one we picked up for $4.89. We listed for $39.92. It did sell for our full asking price. Next up is a brand I've been picking up a lot of dresses in. It is Lauren Ralph Lauren. This is something I used to um, not pick up. And recently I realized how quickly it can sell if you know what you're doing. Um, they usually sell between 35 and 40 for me. This particular one, we listed a little bit lower just because there were a couple of spots on it. I would say the larger the size, the more vibrant the pattern and the colors, the better it's going to be. I paid $7.99 for this because I did not realize there were spots. Um, after I realized that, I was like, man, I probably shouldn't pick this up for $7.99. But we still made a return on investment with it. But definitely a category worth looking into. This we listed for $34.88 and we ended up selling on an offer for $29.65. And that is with the spots. This is a brand that I would definitely look for during this time of the year. It is Bryn Walker. They make a lot of minimalist log and look pieces and their linen stuff performs really well. This is an oversized linen tunic top and we paid just over $5 for this, listed for $34.93 and it did sell for our full asking price. This is another Athleta like wide leg item. This is called the Playa Linen Wide Leg Crop Pants. Um, not much else to say about this other than again, this category in Athleta performs really well for me. We paid just over $5 listed for around 32 and it sold for our full asking price. This is a brand I've been picking up in dresses. That's a blurry photo. This is just a size one, which is a smaller size, but I find in dresses and jumpsuits, it doesn't tend to matter um, with Torrid as long as it is like a one and up. It's actually a plus size. Uh, dresses perform really well, especially if they are midi to maxi. So definitely keeping my eye out for that. We paid just over $5 for this and we listed it for $29.88. It sold pretty quickly for our full asking price. Next up is a category I wanted to bring to your attention again. It is sleepwear. And a lot of resellers, just like jackets and coats in spring and summer, pass on the sleepwear section. It can be a great place to find really valuable items just because most people don't go over there. Um, robes would be a category that can perform really, really well. I've sold robes, pre-owned robes, over $100. It really depends on what it is, but I would say that there's definitely a lot of stuff in the sleepwear section that you could be picking up that you might be passing on. This is more of a bread and butter piece. It is a men's Duluth plaid robe. We picked this up for $4.99 and listed it for around $30. It sold for an offer to watcher for $25.44. Next up is a brand that has really gone downhill for me. I used to pick up everything in this brand. It is Marine Layer. And what I have learned about this brand is that their joggers still perform really well. They have over 100% sell through rate, um, both men's and women's. So I would still keep your eye out for joggers. These were called the Respun joggers. Um, you can see it here on the tag. I think it's like the fabric that they use. Uh, 
size large women's. We picked this up for over $5 and it sold for a full asking price of $34.88. Here's another sleepwear section um, kind of item. This is a satin nightgown by Soft Surroundings. Definitely an older tag. Very interesting, uh, unique item. Um, but this could be something, again, you could find in the sleepwear section. I picked this up for $5. It ended up selling on an offer to Watcher for $29.70. Um, and this is something I feel like a lot of people would have passed on. All right, here is another new brand to me. It is Ezekiel. And these Ezekiel jeans and pant pants do have a over 100% sell-through rate on eBay. And so I definitely keep your eye out for these. Uh, these are called the 305 Chopper Jeans. And I picked these up for $3. We listed for $24.93. It did sell for our full asking price. And again, in general, this brand has uh, over 100% sell-through rate. So I definitely keep your eye out for it. These are a pair of shoes. These are Crocs. And anything camo Crocs, I know are going to sell very quickly. And Crocs in general can be a great brand to look for. They're, again, kind of like a comfort, like loungewear type of shoe. Um, and if you have some of the newer styles, they can go for even more than this. I knew that these are going to flip like immediately, so I picked them up. These are Crocs Realtree uh, camo slip-on shoes in a size 10, which is a great size as well. I paid it up a little for these. I paid $6.99 to flip into $25. They did sell very quickly for my full asking price, which is why I was willing to pay up. Last one on eBay before we jump on over to Poshmark. This is also a great brand to look for. I pick this up pretty much all year round, but especially spring and summer, people are looking for this brand to go on vacation is Jams World. This is a less substantial piece by this brand and it did have a couple of uh, signs of wear, but it still sold for a great price even with those falls. So I paid just over $5 for this. We listed for $29.88 and it sold for full asking price. Some of the longer dresses in this, midi to maxi, or some of the more rare prints can go for over $100, depending on what you have. There's some rare stuff out there. Uh, so definitely keep your eye out for Jams World. Next up is like my favorite athletic wear brand right now. It is Vu Ori. And they're kind of like Lululemon where they don't always have their rip tag inside of them. Sometimes you'll just see a little patch of something. But I would say if you feel something that feels very high quality like Lululemon, but you're not seeing the Lululemon logo, start looking for the Vu Ori logo. Sometimes it's something as small as being on the zipper right here. So keep your eye out for that. This was missing the material and size tag, but we were still able to figure out what it was and get it listed. They were a pair of ripstop women's extra large uh, pull-on pants. And we paid $3.99 for these. They sold for $46 on Posh. This is a new brand to me. It is, no idea how to pronounce it, Maj, I think is how you would pronounce it, or Mage. And this appears to be a pretty decent brand, especially on Poshmark. They make, from what I can tell, a lot of vibrant tops. This was a very high quality feeling floral button up top. Uh, we paid just over $5 and we accepted an offer of $38, which is pretty good for a top. This is Chico's. I've been uh, hit or miss factor stacking with Chico's. I try to stick to the larger sizes and then something in addition to that. This is a size three. You can tell this is a newer style because it has the US sizing on the tag, which translates to an extra large. Chico stuff retails for a ton. So I do think that there's an opportunity there if you can factor stack. Um, this top sold for $29. I paid just over five for it. And I wanted to show you this one because this is a chain print blouse and you guys have been asking a lot about like keywords and item specifics and this is one that's definitely worth taking note of is this chain print um usually when there's a chain print regardless of what the chain type is i usually include the word equestrian which you'll see we did here um this looks like a bit and bridle chain print but still a chain print nonetheless um, but that can be a great keyword to use, and I wanted to share that with you in case you guys didn't know, um, because it can be 
a really popular type of print. And I have noticed, especially in brands like Zara, they are really bol uh, good bolos with that print. All right, next up is um, a category that I guess I just became made aware of, but it is Nike men's vintage windbreaker pants, specifically all of those things. So I did a comp on those. They had over 100% sell through rate. I picked up a few of them at the store for $4.99. We listed all of them for anywhere between like $30 and $35. Again, these are pre-owned. And they're performing really well. I think I've sold um, almost all of them now. These ones were lined with the zip ankle. Um, so I put all of that in the title. I also included the word baggy because that is a popular keyword people are looking for right now. And I felt like it fit under that category. Um, but I want to share these with you because flipping sweatpants um, especially ones like this that you can find pretty often for over $30 is a great return on investment. So keep your eye out for it. I paid $4.99 and this one's on for $33 on Posh. Next up is a Reformation item. This is Reformation jeans. I pick up anything Reformation. It just performs really well for me. Um, and this category in general is performing well for me, which is pull on pants especially if they have a flare leg. These ones are not flare. They are a straight leg, but in a really popular brand. So definitely worth getting. I paid $2 for these. We listed for around 40 on Posh, ended up taking an offer of 32. All right, this next one is still a great bread and butter brand for us. It is the Democracy Jeans. Caveat is they have to have the AB line to them and then you'll notice that there's like an ath elastic I cannot talk elastic waistband on the inside this line performs really well these are a larger size a 20w I ended up taking an offer for a quick sale of $25 we paid $4.99 for those next up is another soft surroundings piece this is a gorgeous extra large midi skirt and midi and maxi length skirts have been performing well for me we paid just over $5 for this and we sold it for $46. So I thought that was definitely worth mentioning because $46 for a pre-owned skirt is really, really amazing. Um, so if you're someone skipping the skirt section, maybe you just want to walk past it and look f at the midi to maxi length ones, um, but some brands can be worth getting. This is a pair of men's Fabletics joggers and I have found that men's fab Fabletics perform really well. Um, especially their joggers. So we picked these up for um, $1.50 and we sold them for $33 on Poshmark. Fabletics Women's, I don't, I'm honestly not sure that I would pick up anything in Fabletics Women's at this point, but the men's stuff does really well. Next up is a brand I pick up in just about anything. It is Spanx. These are a pair of Spanx camo leggings. We paid $4.89 for them and they sold for $34. So great return on investment there. Um, I want to show you these because while a lot of the Spanx have the red pull tab to them, which is how people notice them, not all of the profitable ones have those. And so they can be passed pretty easily if you're not paying attention. These are a pair of the like seamless compression ones. Uh, so I definitely keep your eye out for that. Sometimes they're not as obvious as you might think. Okay, this is new to me. Not the brand, but the style. These are Hoka Oneones. I did not realize that they made sandals. So they have a fantastic sell-through rate. These had um, a little bit of wear throughout and they still sold for $34 and they were a size six. I paid only $2.99 for these. So I would definitely keep your eye out. I don't think that, I think thrift stores are picking up on the athletic sneakers in this brand, but I don't think they're picking up on the sandals and they sell for a ton of money, super lightweight and easy to list. Just wipe it down uh, with a disinfectant wipe and you're good to go. Uh, so I want to show you those because I had I had no idea that they made this stuff. Next up is just a J. Crew piece, but this category in general in general performs pretty well for me. They are denim and chambray shirts. So even in mall brands, sometimes 
they can bring $30. So I wanted to mention this. This is a men's size large, paid $4.99, and it sold for $29 on Poshmark. Here is a category of shoes you might want to be on the lookout for. It is the like outdoorsy brands and sandals. This is a pair of Merrells. They are called the Around Town Sandals. Uh, again, a size 10, so a larger size is going to help it. I picked these up at the bins. I probably paid like 3 to $4 for them. They sold for $30 on Poshmark. Here's another brand you might want to look for in midi to maxi length. It is Tommy Bahama. This is a gorgeous geometric print tiered uh, dress, and we paid $5.99 for this. It sold for $36 on Poshmark. Here's a Lily Pulitzer dress. Oh my gosh, I have been finding so much Lily Pulitzer. Some of it new with tags. Um, again, new with tags heavily plays into uh, what I'll pick up an item for. So we found this new with tags. It is a size 12 women's Blair dress. And by the way, Lily Pulitzer, it really does matter the style. So you want to look that style up. And again, if you don't have Google Lens, like super easy, it'll pull up the style, it'll pull up the print for you. Definitely worth downloading while you're out at the thrift store for a lot of things, but especially Lily Pulitzer. So this is a new with tags Blair dress. It is also a size 12 and it's new with tags. So heavily, heavily weighed into my decision to pick this up. Um, this retailed for $218. I did check sell through rate on this. We paid up for this. Hold on to your seats. I paid $34.99 for this. That's a lot. I don't typically pay that much for a piece, um, but I'm glad I did because definitely made quite a bit of money on this and you have to back up your larger cost of good pickups with sell through rate like you just have to you should not be picking up and paying up for things if the data is not there so please 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 if you're going to pay up for something do the research and make sure the data is there to back it up um so this again we paid 35 dollars for i listed for around 125 dollars it sold very quickly i accepted an offer of 100 dollars to get it moving so 35 into 100 sold on posh so let me think about that real quick so 100 dollars, 20 percent off of that is going to leave you with 80 minus 35 that is a 45 dollar profit so 35 to make a $45 profit. I've doubled my money and then some and it happened in like two weeks. So super happy with that. But I, I like sharing the items that I paid up for and the reasoning behind it. Um, just to help some of you guys work through that if you're struggling to know if you should pay up or not. Next up is a J Crew item. J Crew I've been experimenting with a lot recently i used to just pass on it because it was a mall brand but i realized that there is quite a bit of stuff in j crew that can sell for really good money we paid 4.99 for this it is a knee length wrap dress it's just black but it was wrap it was long sleeve it was a size 10 tall all great things we uh, listed this for around 40 on posh and it sold for 34 dollars Here's another brand and dresses that have been performing really well for me. It is Talbots. Specifically in larger sizes, they seem to move really quickly. And then the picturesque like city scene ones perform extremely well. This one is a knee length belt to dress and it was new with tags, size 16. So lots of great things going for it. I paid $4.99 for it. We listed for around $55 on Poshmark. It sold on an offer for $47. So great, great return on investment. Um, and again, this was Talbot's. Next up is a Bowden item. I don't know what it is, but I've been having really good luck with Bowden stripe tops. I don't know what else to say about it. Um, so might want to keep your eye out for it. I don't know why I've sold a lot of them recently. This is a long sleeve kind of multicolor rainbow stripe top. It is pre-owned. It sold for $30 on Poshmark, which I just feel like is a lot. Um, I think we paid around $5 for it into 30 and it sold super quickly. 
Here's another brand of sandals you could be on the lookout for right now. It is Vionic. And we found these um, new without tags. They still had uh, paper around the clasp. So no box, no like price tag, but it did have some things protecting the hardware and we could tell that they were still new. So we listed them new without tags and included that stuff in the photos. We paid $2 for these and we sold them for $42 on Poshmark. Okay, this is a newer newer brand to me. It is Barbell Apparel Jeans, and these also have a great sell-through rate. These are a pair of women's size 29 jeans, and we sold them for $32 on Poshmark. We only paid $4.99 for them, and I just did a check on the sell-through rate on this brand again this morning before I did this video, and still really great sell-through rate in both men's and women's, so I would keep your eye out for those. And lastly is just a New York and company dress, but a lot of factor stacking here. So I thought I would share it with you because we did end up having a great sale because of it. We paid just over $5 and it sold for $34. So let me tell you a bit about this dress. We do not normally pick up New York and company, but it is a size large. It's polka dot. It is a wrap dress. It is maxi length and it's new with tags. Like so many factors there. It's like you have to pick it up regardless <laughs> of the brand. Um, so this would be a great example of factor stacking if I came across this at the thrift store. And I do find um, that polka dot stuff tends to perform well. All right, guys, so that's it for what's the last week. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. As always, if you're not already and you would like to be, don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell. If you do that every single time I post these videos, you will be notified when I post them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.